Hello and welcome back to um, Time for You. I'm Lea Wernli and I'm sitting here in Zurich and on Zoom with my friend Shalia Stevens. She is in a small, cool German village <laughs> near <laughs> Wiesbaden. <laughs> no, you're hyping up Epstein now, Lea. <laughs> Epstein, Epstein. Epstein. So, and um, we just have a morning together and it's so much fun to to spend it together and for you. So, yeah, what are we talking about? Today we wanted to talk about who are we when nobody is watching. And Celia is a nerd with uh, with glasses <laughs> yeah like i'm just waiting for a chance so you won't see this if you're on the podcast uh because you will only be listening but we do we do post all of the videos by the yeah. way to my youtube channel so leah got these yeah we, we wanted to share some personal stuff so leah got these really cool glasses in berlin so she's like a hipster you don't know this about leah she's actually a wild child even though she looks yeah. like a really sweet middle-aged lady most of the time and I was like inspired to get her glasses like as you if you can see on the screen right now that's she's wearing them and so I was trying to get my version of these but they just were not working out and this morning Leah gave me an analysis of why this is the case and what <laughs> I need to do but you know it's like something about Leah you're younger than me what is your age right now yeah. are you I'm 46 I'm turning 47 in October Okay, so I'm 49 going on 50 mm -hmm. this year, and I've been dreaming of these like big, bold statement mm. glasses. And so when nobody's looking, I'm on the phone with Leah trying to figure out <laughs> what looks good. So yeah, we got it figured out. We're going to mm -hmm. get it get it all worked out. But that's not the real topic, Leah. You wanted nope. to talk about it from a different perspective. So what do you mean by that? So... Um, who are we when nobody's looking or watching? So... Is there, do you do, do we do something else or different when we're alone and not in public, not with our families, not, I mean, just for ourselves? And I don't know why this came to mind, but I, I, I love to read, for example, still do. I didn't read a book for I think four years after I, I came across the principles, it was just mind or an insight. I, I was addicted to reading as well, in a way. It was one getaway or not feeling like I... Escapism. Es escapism, exactly. It was a very cool one because everybody was so proud of me that I read so much and it was so easy <laughs> to hide with my books wherever. So, but still, now I, it came back and I, I read again. I read a lot and different things and sometimes I read um, really cheap novels too. Mm -hmm. Like in, in Switzerland or in Germany, they were called Taigroschen Romani, like just, uh, there is another way, Chiclet, I think in England. Like or romance novels? Romance or, or teenage mystery. coming of age or mm. mystery fantasy, but kind of very simple uh, stories. And it's just other people are looking YouTube videos or scrolling on Insta or my boys love to watch fails and I just love to read this cheaper. Not cheap. I mean, it's okay. Every story has <laughs> the right to exist, but um, it's not liter literature. And I, um, when I was younger, I was not ashamed at all and then there was a time I was a bit ashamed of it and now again I'm not ashamed of it mm. anymore at all mm -hmm. and so who am I when I'm alone and I probably what I saw we did and we did a German podcast once about being a verb or being a noun and and what I think is really interesting that I feel I'm 
I'm more of a verb alone because mm. nobody has. There is no role. There is no mother, business owner, coach, mm, Leah, middle aged uh, women, even whatever. Yeah. There is just me being in life. And I, I'm often a ver verb too with other people, but there are roles or there are characters we take on or personalities or things we do a certain way. Yeah. And, and a all by myself, I always sing, I'm sorry, I've got an HDHD brain and these brains tend to have like loop songs. <laughs> so, cool. um, and to to bring that ver verbness, <laughs> that being a verb, m even more into like every situation. Like, mm. is it possible to not act, react, fulfill a role even with others? A little mm. bit more, a tiny bit, it just... Uh, I don't know. That's what I want to discuss. Mm, yeah. Oh my gosh, Leah. <clears throat> I hear so much in that. Um, first and foremost, like that's maybe one of the reasons I love to be alone. I love to be alone so much. It's almost um it's almost crazy how much time mm. I I spend by myself. And I think a really big part of that is just definitely letting go of all of whoever I think I'm supposed to be when I'm outside in the world with other people. Um, and, it, and it doesn't even matter if it's within my home. It's like, even when my, my husband is in the house, um, I go downstairs and then I'm, I'm different because, um, you know, we're in the same space and I feel like, you know, he's, he has maybe some expectations of, what he wants to experience or like whatever it's, it's, it's subtle. It's, it's very, mm -hmm. it's very tiny. It's mm -hmm. not like a big thing, but um, I'm very much aware of being sort of on being on being more aware of, of the other person. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe, and maybe too, that for me is kind of growing up in a, in a familial situation where mm -hmm. I had to kind of always be on alert mm -hmm you know, aware of the moods everybody mm -hmm. had and, and how to navigate that to be safe, I guess. Mm -hmm. So the minute I come into contact with other people, I I'm sort of like a little bit more on alert and like, what mood are they? I'm super conscious of people's moods, um, because of that. So being alone for me is, a a totally relaxed state of being mm -hmm. where I can let that alarm, those alarm bells, that alertness mm -hmm. kind of fall down and um i think i think this last year for me and we've talked about it in a couple of different contexts is really also starting to be more and more aware of exactly that like how much of my real self mm. like and, and who knows who i really am i mean i don't want to i don't want to get that really ph philosophically deep about it but i'm just going to use the words letting who i really mm. am um, sort of flow out and flow into kind of everything else that mm. I'm doing, whether it's interactions with clients, whether it's um, in our podcast, mm. like uh, that, that we decided we wanted to have real conversations and not just like, we're the teachers and you're listening to us speak, you know, kind of a thing. Totally. Um, and for sure, every time that that I'm able to do that. Um, mm. I feel, I feel I, I have, I have a, I have a mixed bag of feelings. Mm -hmm. Um, it feels good in a way when that can happen. And, and I, I see the difference in relationships and how people react to you when you just show up more of yourself than you did yesterday. And there's also something a little dangerous in that. Mm -hmm. There's something a little, questioning uh, when when I hang up the zoom uh button and I think oh maybe I showed a little too much mm. of who I really am yeah 
I love that so much, Celia, that you shared that. And I mean, we just can play with that in a way, like maybe it's really true that we are safe and everything is whole and and already there. And what if, what if it's really, really, really true? Mm -hmm. Then, ooh, yeah, we can show up as a verb or more as a from the essence or very authentic and and from there as a verb and or or as your true self however you want to to call it you're also able to navigate this uncertain feelings you yeah. know Yes, of course. I, I was dancing yesterday in the streets. I just, I did listen to a song and I was in the rain and I was just like, oh. and and suddenly I, I saw some construction worker really looking at me like this weird, not like, whoa, cool, more like, whoa, weird. <laughs> 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 and it was a moment. And then... I felt, yeah, and I can handle the uncertain feelings as well. And I also can handle that you think I'm crazy or nuts or strange. Mm, how cool. Mm. So, yes, it's not going to be all party and rainbows when we show up and when we are kind of more direct from this place mm. but the resilience as well shows up in a in a broader way when we are coming from there yeah yeah i think that's definitely that's definitely true and uh i'll tell you a little anecdote and, and then yeah and then, I, and then i want to share something that i that i heard sydney Banks say recently because i was watching a video mm. um of, a, of him speaking together with a client the other day but um I I even I even had it uh, last week last week I I flew to the south of France um by the time you hear this podcast because we, we're doing them every two weeks mm. now so it might be quite a bit away that that actually <laughs> happened like don't write me and say you were last week yeah. in France <laughs> by then several months ago yes. but we're not doing it right now and you hear it tomorrow so mm. just to be yeah, honest <laughs> just to be honest yep yeah, so right now in this time and space last week I flew to France and um um, I met with Sandra Heim there. Well, we talked about it on a recent podcast mm -hmm. for the photo shooting. And even there, they are like, um, you know, Sandra and I, we have been in contact for years. Um, she was first my client and then she became sort of um, my cooperation partner. We we led groups of like um, 30, 35 people over nine months in our Beyond program. Like we spent a lot of time together planning um, the content uh, we've been doing the podcast for years. We 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 show up. We meet we meet every week on Tuesday. So you would think by now, like I'm fully myself with Sandra, and um, then I was at her house, and um, you know I was just like, okay, let like I I, I really was feeling like oh, I'm just showing more of who I really mm. am from day to day. Um, but it got really uncomfortable because mm. I, I, w I became really aware that, you know, for whatever reasons, however ways we judge ourselves for whatever we're doing, um, like if I feel like I'm being too chatty and not listening enough to the other person, if I feel like I'm being too silly um, and, and sharing, you know, some of my weird uh, ideas or, or things that I love or whatever the thing. Um, I remember even then being kind of like, oh, you've slipped out of the persona uh, mm. that you usually present when you're doing business cooperations kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And I remember feeling, you know, kind of insecure about that also coming home, like, oh, mm. I hope she still likes me as she, she, mm -hmm. as much as she liked me before I went to her house, mm -hmm. you know, kind of a mm, thing. No. Isn't mm -hmm. that crazy? Like I'll be 50 this year yeah. and still, and still having that insecurity about, belonging um mm -hmm. and and being liked or appreciated mm -hmm. as who who I really am right mm -hmm. I know yeah. I know and I mean and we won't be liked by everyone I yeah. mean that's the thing 
we have best friends or probably people that are in the in and we don't need to be liked by everyone as no. well what to say i i wanted to say something but i, I can't remember it was more in the um we we don't have to share everything personal and we can still be more authentic you know what i mean yeah with you i mean you know everything from me yeah i'm quite messy i'm actually <laughs> always wants to take care of me when i'm <laughs> hers because i'm not good in the whole household thing <laughs> it cooks for me i really love it and we we we've seen each other naked in a way yeah and still love each other and also we don't want to have that with everyone no i mean no. of course not I don't want to have that with the lady in in the bakery or with a business corporation or whatever. But what I want is um, being able to <clears throat> to 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 uh, walk mask free in a way. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. So I do. We we. We can have different possibilities of of closeness or different stages of mm -hmm. privacy with each privacy, other. Privacy, trust, yeah. But I, I'm, I'm on a path of not being masked anymore, mm. and somehow it happened to me when, when I had like a. For myself and my life a big insight I it was just ripped off in a way the ego was quite sh shattered <laughs> yeah so this persona didn't exist anymore and still it re it does rebuild itself somehow but different I'm I think you know me quite well and you see me in very different environments and I often choose myself yeah. and still not all of the people see my mess or, <laughs> or as you do or my best friends or my husband. Yeah, yeah, totally. Does, does that make sense? Totally makes sense. Of course it does. Um, yeah, they're like, they're like different levels. Uh, there are le different levels of closeness and still being on the path to becoming maskless, right? De regardless, mm -hmm. kind of regardless of the role you're in yes. at the moment. That's what I'm hearing from yes. that. And what I wanted to share, what I what I heard um, Sydney Banks say. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I got this uh, link on a group uh, with Grace and um, I followed it and it was really quite a nice, um, I'll see if I can find it and put it in the show mm. notes uh, with Sydney Banks talking for like a good, 37 minutes you know how sometimes they're really just short like 10 to 15 minutes and anyway one of the things that he said within the first 25 minutes of watching it with with my client was something like he was talking about um his enlightenment experience and he was talking about how before he uh, had that experience that he was a deeply insecure person and he had this sort of view of the world being dangerous right and then he had this sort of awakening and he was he was comparing it to sort of like um a computer a program on a computer um and how before the program on his computer was one of insecurity and fear of the world and then afterwards that just completely got erased and he he was able to have a new program mm. uh, to how he how he saw himself in the world, and he proceeded to talk about like how things that looked so solid to him, like the place where he was born and grew up, when he went back to visit it in his older years, like with this new program, it looked like a place he had never been to. Mm. Like people were like, "Are you sure this is where you were born and grew up?" Because <laughs> the way you're here being in it like it's like everything he's seeing new for the first time in mm -hmm. a whole different way than he'd been talking about it in the past to friends like Elsie who knew him before the mm -hmm. experience and so on and the reason that I'm sharing that is is because it really gave me a moment of uh, hope it's like that that um 
that feeling of educated faith that we talk mm. about in the community thinking oh, okay even in this situation of the possibility of being more and more maskless every day um it can it can happen that we just change the program um and we get we just get a new one yes. and and that that felt really amazing to me yeah. that possibility mm. So that's what I'm, I was thinking of when we were talking about that, becoming more and more of who you are when no one's looking. Yeah, and it can change the whole program or we can just update it Yeah, as well. Like yeah. both and, yeah. It's so funny because I am in this online space and I love, I, I love a lot of things. I'm often just drawn to learning and seeing and but with this understanding it's uh, totally different but a lot of this manifestation teachers they speak about being a new self yeah and I, I yeah of course we can be whoever we want to be in a way and and we don't have to be uh, new because we're always new in a way yeah yeah that's true mm -hmm. yeah. so cool uh, really cool topic Leah I, I like I really like talking about things that are so everyday mm -hmm. you know yeah, I think me I too. think I think that's really meaningful um thank you thank you for sharing that for letting me share thank you so if you, no, no, probably, maybe, hopefully you heard something <laughs> for yourself. And um, yeah, if, I mean, if you want to, you also could give us some stars <laughs> and rate it. So <laughs> more people. Could Leia, listen. you're going for it today. Yeah, I go for it. <laughs> listen to the podcast and um, you could do that on Apple podcast for example or you can listen on spotify on or on our website so um just it's a pleasure to be here with shelia and to talk with her for you and for us and see you next time bye see you next time bye guys <laughs>